I'm Sarah, I'm a hospital pharmacist, and welcome to my channel. Well, today I'll be breaking down all my costs to maintain my pharmacy license. So how much does it cost to be a hospital pharmacist? So I tried my best to break down all the costs of being a pharmacist. So recently I got a hefty bill uh, to renew my pharmacist license and that's what inspired this video today. Once you receive your pharmacist license, you have to pay a renewal fee every two years. I had to pay $523. And the deadline is always the month of your birthday. And the biggest question is my student loan. So for me, my payments are split between my private pharmacy student loans and my public pharmacy student loans. So all of my loans are consolidated into um, Mohila for the public service loan forgiveness program. So for me, I am in that program in which I work for a federal hospital for 10 years. And during those 10 years, I pay the minimum balance with the income-based payment program. And whatever is remaining that I don't pay off will be forgiven. Currently, um, I am very fortunate where you know, during the COVID pandemic, my payments were paused um, during the past three years. But during those three years, they were kind enough to still count it. So I'm still three years towards my uh, loan forgiveness just because I've been working at the federal hospital since then ever since now that Loan repayments are coming back They were still using my previous income when I was you know a pharmacy student uh, Pharmacy intern so my payback then was very very little. That's why my current um, Loan payments are really low. It's only ten dollars a month. So I know what? it's crazy little but take it with a grain of salt because I will have to you know, recertify my salary next year and we have to do this annually so it's expected to go way up in terms of my monthly payments. I've asked um, you know co-workers and colleagues who had the same amount of student loans that I did roughly 200k yeah you heard right two hundred thousand dollars that's a pretty common average amount of student loans if you're not you know fortunate to have had family help and you're starting from scratch like me that's usually the tuition for pharmacy school so for those that have the same amount of student loans as me their monthly payment is usually around a thousand dollars a month so I'm dreading when that day comes, but we'll see. So in summary right now, for my public student loans, it's $10 a month for my private student loans. So I am currently paying $450 a month. It's actually only supposed to be 250, but I did the calculations and I'm trying to pay it off early as much as I can. So I upped it to $450 a month so that I can pay off that whole private student loan in full by next year or the following year. I think I calculated that I would finish the entire loan within one and a half years. In addition to paying off my pharmacy license every two years and paying my student loans, I also have a special certification called BCPS. And there's also a fee to maintain your status as well. And it did also cost me money to take the board certification exam. California board license exam and the pharmacist license exam. So I don't remember the exact amounts, but I'll put it right here as your reference. Now, in order to maintain my BCPS certification status, I have to have a certain amount of hours, CE hours throughout the years. I don't remember the exact requirements, so let me just put that down below. So in order to get these credits, I am a member of ACCP and it stands for this. So the membership is $22.92 a month. And when I do end up 
um, signing up for CE courses, I have to pay an extra fee as well. So the online option would be $80. If I want a physical booklet for me to study and take the quiz and tests, it would be $120. And as a pharmacist, you need liability insurance. So my liability insurance is $113 a year. Now all of the miscellaneous fees like paying for scrubs, that adds up as well. So I try to not spend too much money on scrubs, but you know, once a year I'll splurge and buy a new pair of scrubs or two. So I just, I'm just gonna give a rough estimate that I spend about like 100 or 200 dollars a year in scrubs my hospital provides us with three set of scrubs but you know there's way more days in a work week than just three days so you know i obviously have to buy some scrubs of my own yeah so that's everything that i can think of regarding to the cost of being a pharmacist so i hope this helps please comment down below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer them